to add a static method to an enum, what you'll want to use is a companion object. But first, you want to terminate the different enums by providing a semicolon at the end. Then you'll want to say a companion object. And for example, here we could actually have a function that says get account type by name. We could just pass in the name and it's a string. And this could just be valid. We could just use the value of name dot to uppercase. And you may be wondering what this is for. It's a kind of a nice little syntactic sugar to say account name, account type by, get account type by name. And I could just pass in gold. And so I could say account type. And now I could actually print this to the screen and just say account type. And then if we hit run, we should see that we're going to get gold on the screen, which we do down here on the bottom in the output window. I could change this to platinum, which, you know, different casing or whatever. And then of course, for whatever reason, if I just spelled it wrong, it's going to blow up because we don't have a value with a constant of this type, which is what we would probably want to have happen if you're trying to use that in your production code. Now, just an important note here is that Kotlin doesn't have a concept of a static method. This is just Kotlin's way of kind of providing the same functionality out of the box. And that's how you can create a companion object method. It kind of acts like a static method inside of a Kotlin enum by using a companion object.